YouTube, what it do? It's the Life of Derek 27 back with another video. So check it. I want to talk about the current stimulus that we've all been receiving. $600. Really, America? $600 is how much we're worth? That's how much we mean to you guys? I feel like that's a slap in the face. I feel like that's a slap in the motherfucking face. We're the richest country in the world. We're a powerhouse, supposedly. And this is how we treat our people? Our hard-working, beloved families? That's crazy. That's petty. Hey. All great kingdoms have their rise and their fall. But if America keeps on being greedy, that's going to be our demise. That's going to be our downfall. A lot of countries are watching us right now. This, you know, the coronavirus has really made all of us self-reflect on our lives and self-reflect on other countries. And how other countries run their country and governments and presidents run, run other countries. You know what I'm saying? So I know for sure China, Brazil, Italy, and so on are watching us and seeing how selfish and stupid we are. <laughs> we look weak. Being greedy, that's, that's a quality of a loser. Being greedy is a quality of a loser. We're winners, man. And enough of all this, like, gimme, 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 gimme shit. Like, no, like, McConnell, I'm sorry, but we need to get him out of the Senate. Like, how can one person, one Republican really decide our faith? That's not right. Because I was checking how much a lot of these, you guys already know. These guys are multimillionaires. A lot of these senators are multimillionaires. And these people really decide our rights at the end of the day. Or decide what we get or what help we get. And, the, and in these hard times, we need the help. You know? But it goes back to that quote, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Do they want to keep the poor on the bottom? Like, they really want to have separation? I guess they do, but God doesn't, I don't know. God does not want that from us. We need to do better. In 2021, we need to love better. We need to sh we need to share more. We need to give more. You know, we need to, we really got to change our ways. $600, that's not right. Yeah, the people are, you know, they're they're happy about the direct deposits and the checks coming in the mail. But six hundred dollars, the average rent payment in America is it's like eight to nine hundred dollars, thousand dollars. Six hundred dollars for a family in Brooklyn who's not making much. That's like they need food. That that six hundred dollar check is gonna go straight to rent. These people starving out here. As you guys know, this is a huge uh, um, food problem in America. We have kids and adults starving in America. In the richest country. Supposedly one of the richest countries in the world. We can't feed people. We can't give people better food benefits. We can't get our everyday hard essential workers $2,000. Really? I don't mean to offend nobody. I love everyone. Even the people I don't know. I have love for everyone. I have no hate in my heart. And I'm not wishing no hate for Mr. McConnell. I'm just wishing for, you know, for just for some more like, uh, how do you call it? More, uh, what's the word? I'm wishing for more empathy. There you go. Empathy for our people. Empathy for one another. 
You know? Like, it's not your money. The Senate is not losing nothing. It's not your money. It's not coming out of your paycheck. So why not sign off the bill and give our, pe our moms and dads or teachers or truck drivers, grocery store workers the money they need? I was looking at how much we spent last year. I believe we spent about around, I don't have the exact number, so bear with me, but it's like seven to $800 billion we spent last year on the military alone in America. I want you guys to go and play a song by Tupac. Rest in peace, young king. The late great Tupac Shakur. You probably heard it. Keep your head up. There's a, there's a line from that in that song that goes like this. They got money for wars, but can't feed the poor. They got money for wars, but they can't feed the poor. Hey, that song was made back in the 90s. But it's so true today. Like, I know we got to have the best military. They protect us. Salute to all my members in the military. God bless all y'all. But, hey, if we got money for the military, we need money for our people back home. This kid's starving out here. Those food bank lines are, are, are super long, man. It's sad. When I watch the news, I tear up sometimes. I tear up. Because, you know, adults can starve, but the other thing is when kids starve. When kids are hungry, that hurts. This is our new generation. We can't, the kids need food. And we need to stop being greedy. And I know it's, it's, it's a multitude of things, you know. But hey, if you're watching this video in 2021, give more, love more, bless somebody. Bless more strangers. I'm going to be doing the same. Comment below how you guys feel about everything. I didn't mean to disrespect anybody. I'm just kind of like, I'm just, I'm trying to vent. I'm trying to let it out. So I got on my YouTube channel and I just started talking. But God bless all you guys, all you young kings and young queens out there. Thank you for watching. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless y'all.